an ancient library uh, present in the second largest city uh, of Egypt, Alexandria. And uh, we're, for this topic, we're most delighted to be joined, as usual, uh, in, the, in the studio by our guest, uh, Mr. Samir Abbas, an uh, Egyptologist. Uh, first of all, good morning, sir. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning, Karim. Good morning, Shireen. Good morning, uh, Mr. Samir. First, uh, let's uh, have a review on uh, the ancient Alexandria and uh, its mysteries before talking about uh, Alexandrina, a library, yeah. uh, the ancient library of Alexandria. Uh, uh, thanks for the very warm introduction for our subject today. And also, yes. there's still another another episode from our uh, from our topic uh, main topic, mysteries of ancient Egypt. Mm. So, in the last uh, three episodes, we were covering ancient Alexandria. We talked about Alexander mm. and the mysterious death of Alexander and where possibly his tomb, which is still a mystery until today. So also we covered in the last episode uh, about the ancient city of Alexandria, which is still buried underneath the modern city of Alexandria, or more specific, the central part of uh, modern Alexandria today. And today I choose to talk about one of the most important monument, uh, learning institute, university, library, not only in Egypt, mm -hmm. but also all over the world, especially in the history, in the historical world, so the ancient library of Alexandria. And that is not to be confused with Bibliotheca Alexandrina, which is the current library today. Because the sad news is that the ancient library of Alexandria is no longer exist, mm -hmm. is disappeared, and that's still a mystery. Where is the collection? And where, where was the location of the ancient library of Alexandria? So uh, first, to help our audience to understand why <coughs> this topic is very important, mm -hmm. is we are talking about one or the biggest library in the ancient world. Not only big in size and collection. The collection, first of all, is like 700,000 manuscripts. That was the collection of the library in the third century BC, like 2,300 years ago. That's when the library project started or, or uh, built. That was the equivalent of nearly uh, 125,000 books today. So this size of books today, which is you can put them in a flash drive, you can put them on a hard disk. So you can, in a modern library building, is not a big deal to have uh, more than 100,000 books. But back in the old days, when uh, manually and handwriting is the only way to copy books, that was the biggest and the most important collection. Another reason why this library was great because of the scholars there and the aim behind building the library. It was, the, it was thought that or it was introduced as Alexander idea to build the library. He was very well educated. So it was built uh, during uh, Alexander's reign to Egypt. The interesting fact that Alexander himself, he didn't live enough to see his city, Alexandria, being built mm. and the library being built. It was but his idea, you mean? It was, you know, it was said that it's his idea, yes. but the library was started during the rule of the King Ptolemy the I, the second, and flourished during the two, the reign of the King Ptolemy the third. That was around the third century BC. So, uh, apart from the massive and big collection, which is of ancient manuscripts there, it was the aim of the ancient Greek kings to collect the best knowledge and the rare knowledge of the whole world under one roof. And that was their aim. Not only to attract, to attract the best minds of the best scholars among in the whole world to study in the library. And they had a political, actually political reason for doing that. So they were in Egypt to build an empire. They, unlike the Romans, you know, when the Romans invaded Egypt, so Egypt, Egypt for them. Yes, 